G'day everyone, my name's Will, and in today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the OnTrack Models 2021 release of the 45 foot New South Wales Louvre vans. Now, if you are new here, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with everything that I've got coming out in the future. In today's episode, we're gonna take brief look at the history of these Louvre vans. Then we're gonna take a look at what we've got here. And then at the end, there's gonna be a little bit of a giveaway. Stay tuned for that. Now, before we open these up, let's just have a quick overview of the history of these Louvre vans. As part of the 1950s re-equipment program, the New South Wales Railways ordered steel Louvre vans from England to replace its worn out fleet of timber vans. The first batch of vans delivered from later batches were built in Australia. However, the vans did have a similar appearance. They had fully louvered sides, five foot four by six foot six doorways with double outward openings, hinge doors, pressed metal semi louvered ends, and an arced roof. The vans also had timber floors. 575 of these type of vans were built. However, by the 90s, most of them had gone and had been repurposed as other wagons and departmental type uh, rolling stock. So I don't think there's actually any of these left, although I'm happy to be proved wrong, but not in this type of van anymore, at least in revenue service. So let's take a look at what we've got here. First up, we've got the 45 foot New South Wales banana vans. From 1987, approximately 66 LLV or GLV type vans were recoded to NLBF or NLBX for use on banana traffic from the New South Wales North Coast to Southern markets. These recorded wagons lasted in service until 1992. Each of these vans was painted with various lining liveries with no two vans actually being alike. They were equipped with two large signs on the sides one being the Banana Growers Federation logo, and the other, the Unzip and New South Wales Banana logo. Not all vans received both logos, even some that did, lost them over time. On Track Models has produced three packs of three vans, with each having its own unique color scheme. These retail $230 a pack. Next, we have the 45 foot New South Wales Louvre van. The New South Wales Railways had procured numerous styles of Louvre vans throughout its life. Both four wheel and bogey styles were obtained from various manufacturers over the years. Starting in 1951, 300 LLV Louvre van kits were imported from Birmingham Railway Car and Wagon Co. Limited and assembled at AE Goodwin between September 1951 and August 1953 for the New South Wales Government Railways. These wagons had riveted under frames and the number allocated were reclaimed from previously scrapped wagons. Later on, 75 GLV Louvre vans were delivered between 1958 and 1959 by Tullock Limited of Rhodes, New South Wales. Initially coded LLV, these wagons were different to the initial batch of LLVs by having a welded underframe and altered end panels. These wagons and subsequent batch of 200 LLV wagons produced by Hadfields from 1961 to 1965 were recoded to GLV in November 1963. This was a result of the capacity of the wagon increasing from 40 ton to 47 tons. Starting from October 1964, they were recoded GLX. There are four packs of these wagons available with three Louvre vans in each, retailing from $200 to $230 respectively. And lastly, the 45 foot New South Wales tin plate vans. Of the 275 LLV GLV Louvre vans delivered by both Tullock and A.E. Goodwin between 1958 and 1963, some 60 vans were converted and recoded to TLV from October 1959 till October 1963 for the cartage of tin plate from Port Kembla to various canneries. Commencing from October 1964, these vans were steadily recoded to TLX. However, by 1980, there were still some examples left in traffic with the TLV coding. These TLV and TLX packs have been backdated with new ends to represent these vans as they first came into service. Pack TLV2 has two plain silver vans and one van with the New South Wales red R logo on its side. And pack TLX3 has one plain silver van and two vans with the Australian tin plate logo on their sides. There are two packs of three available and they're $200 each. Now, I guess, what do I think of these? I think they're excellent. They're well-made, they're at a great price point. I like that some of the packs are factory weathered, but it's only really light weathering, so it's enough to take that, you know, fresh out of the shop look. But if you wanna add more, you could, and not ruin the model by any means. So I think that's, yeah, excellent. I also like that on-track models do online pre-orders, unlike 
a few other manufacturers. I think that's really great. It meant if you wanted it, you could buy it online, proof of purchase, easy done. It makes it easy for everyone. So excellent. Now, if you are interested in what these look like weathered, check out Alan Armstrong's video, which I'll leave a link for. He has weathered a few of these now and he made a video and it's great and it's really, really straightforward. So if you wanna check that out, check his video out. Now, quite a number of these wagons are already sold out by the time I produce this video. So if you are interested in getting one, they are still available from a handful of retailers as well as they will be doing a rerun of these later on. However, they will be different pack numbers uh, and different carriage options. So get them while you can, I guess. That's the easiest way to put it. So yeah, I guess that's my two cents on the 45 foot Louvre vans from On Track Models. So if you'd like to win one of these, I'm giving away six individual 45 foot Louvre vans. Now, if you wanna enter, head over to my website. There is a link for competitions. Competitions are open to Australian residents and to submit a form. Once you've done that, winners will be announced on the February edition of Australian Model Railway News. And then I'll be contacting you via text or email. So yeah, uh, if you'd like to win one, check out my website. While you're there, check out all the photos. I'll put some high res photos of them up on the website in the blog section. As well as that, there might be a bit of an announcement depending on when you're watching this on another one of those pages. Let me know what you think. Anyway, that's the end of this little review video and giveaway. If you did like it, of course, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any feedback about the 45 foot Louvre vans or about this video, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon. Hey, Roo.